Okay, on problem number seven, it says if x is less than zero, then the absolute value of 2x to the fourth minus 3 is equivalent to what expression that contains no absolute value? Well, the uh, x to the fourth, when you raise any number to the fourth power, it becomes positive. Now, positive times a 2 is positive, and the absolute value just keeps it positive. So, in other words, the absolute value of 2x to the fourth is the same as just 2x to the fourth. So, this would be equivalent to the expression 2x to the fourth minus 3. On problem 8, it says uh, the point 3, 2 is on a circle centered at the origin. What is the radius of that circle? Well, let's take a look at this problem. And like I said, the, last, the answer to the last problem is just 2x to the fourth minus 3. But this problem, we have a point at uh, 3, 2. In the origin, when they say that, that's the point 0, 0. So the point 3, 2 means 3 over to the right and 2 up. So the radius is this distance right here. We can use the Pythagorean theorem. It says this side squared plus the other leg squared equals this hypotenuse squared. So 3 squared plus 2 squared equals r squared. 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. Add that together, you get 13. That equals r squared. Take the square root of both sides, you get r equals the square root of 13. And that's the answer to that problem. Problem 9, it says uh, f of x equals 4x squared minus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus 3. What is f of g of x? Well, f of g of x means take this g of x function which is x squared plus 3, and substitute it into x on the f function. So this would give us 4 times x squared plus 3, that gets squared then, minus 1. Now, that will be 4 times x squared plus 3, that quantity squared means x squared plus 3 times another x squared plus 3, and then we'll have to subtract off 1. This would need to be foiled together, so x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, x squared times 3 is 3x three squared, and 3 times x squared is another 3x squared, giving us 6x squared, and 3 times 3 is 9. Take the 4 across, and we get 4x to the 4th, plus 24x squared. 4 times 9 is 36, minus this 1 gives us 35. So that would be the answer to this problem. 4x to the 4th, plus 24x squared, plus 35. On problem number 10, it says 1 over cotangent theta is equal to what? Well, this is a trig question, and cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta, so 1 over cotangent theta is equal to tangent theta. So the answer is tangent theta. Problem 11 takes a good while to do, and you may have a problem like this on the placement test, but it will definitely have nicer answer than what this one does. So let's go ahead and go through this. By meaning nicer answer, I mean without all the messy fractions that this problem gets into. But it's the same idea. This problem on 11 says that Let's go on scrolling down here to it. 11, it says a line goes, a line L goes through these points right here. If another line with slope negative 3 is drawn through the origin, uh, we'll intersect the line at this point TP. What is the value of T minus 2P? So this is a t long question because, first of all, we have to get the equation of a line that goes through these two points. Then we have to get the equation of a line that has slope of negative 3 that goes through the origin. Find the point of intersection of those two lines, and then find out what t minus 2p is. So, to do this problem, I first got the equation of the line that goes through these two points. I called this point x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. Substitute those into the slope formula, which is slope m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You should definitely know this slope formula. So substituting those in, y2 is minus 4, minus, that's where that came from, minus, what is y1? Minus 3, that's over x2, which is minus 3, minus, so I wrote a minus down, x1, which is 7. So watch out for all those minus signs. On the top we have minus 4 minus a minus 3, which is the same as minus 4 plus 3, which is a negative 1 bottom, negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10. Two negatives when you divide them give you a positive 1 tenth. So my slope is 1 tenth. Now, if you have the slope, we have to get the uh, equation of this thing. So we can use the point slope formula, which is y equals m times quantity x minus x1 plus y1. And again, this is another formula that you should know okay, before you take the placement test. Point slope formula. Substituting things in here, we have y equals m that's your slope, which we just calculated to be one tenth. So that's one tenth times the quantity x minus x minus 
x1, which is 7, plus y1, plus a negative 3, or just minus 3. Taking the 1 tenth through, we get y equals 1 tenth x, 1 tenth times minus 7 is minus 7 tenths, minus 3. Combining these two numbers right here, we get y equals 1 tenth x, minus 7 tenths, minus 3 is, well, minus 3 is the same as minus 30 tenths, and minus 7 tenths, minus 30 tenths is minus 37 tenths. So now I need to, uh, I have that equation. That's one equation. It says there's another line that has a slope of negative 3 and goes through the point, the origin. The origin is 0, 0. And the form of a line that we got this equation in and that we'll need to get the other equation in is y equals mx plus b. So this is another form of a line that you should know. We have the slope formula, the slope-intercept form of a line, and we have the point-slope formula. All are coming up here. So y equals mx plus b. The m is the slope. In this particular problem, it tells you the slope is negative 3, so we get y equals negative 3x plus b. b stands for the y-intercept, and the y-intercept for a line that goes through the origin, that y-intercept is 0. So I'd have y equals negative 3x plus 0, or just y equals negative 3x. Now to find the point of intersection, I set these two equations equal to each other. I set the 1 tenth x minus 37 tenths equal to negative 3x. So I have negative 3x equals 1 tenth x minus 37 tenths. To get rid of the fraction, I multiply by 10 to get rid of the common denominator of 10. Negative 3x times 10 is negative 30x. 10 times 1 tenth is 1x. 10 times minus 37 tenths is minus 37. Solving this, I took the minus 37 to the left and added 30x to the other side, giving me 37 equals 31x. I only divide by, 30, divide by 31, and I get x equals 37 uh, over 31. Now, we have to get the y part of that point because it says it's a point TP. So in other words, T is playing the role of x. That's 37 31st. And we have to get the y part, the p part. So substitute 37 31st into any place where it says y equals something in terms of x, like this is the easiest place here, y equals negative 3x. So I want to take negative 3 times that x value that I just calculated, uh, 37 31st. And negative 3 times 37 31st is negative 111 uh, 31st. And so I have my coordinate, that's my y, or my p. Now the problem lastly says calculate t minus 2p. So that would be t, which is 37 31st, minus 2 times p, and p is this uh, minus 111 31st. So just doing this last bit here, minus 2 times this minus 111 is positive 222, plus the 37 makes 259 31st, and that's the answer to this problem. And it is approximately uh, 8.35. And I'll pick it up with the next problem on the next video.